Vuforia Studio is an AR authoring tool that makes it easy to create AR experiences that can be published to Vuforia View. To get started with Vuforia Studio, open the Vuforia Studio executable. Once the application has loaded, clicking on Open will launch your default browser and you'll be greeted with the project's landing page. Here, you will see some example projects which outline some of the potential use cases and how they're implemented. You will find all the components and code required to create these experiences within the projects. To start a new project, click on the plus symbol, then choose your desired device. For this video, we will be using a mobile device. Enter a name for your project and your experience service URL and then click on Create. The main interface in Vuforia Studio has six key panels for you to edit your project. The project panel contains configuration settings where you can access and change key information about the experience. There is also the view section where you can view and edit the different 2D and 3D widgets of the project. There is also the styles section, widgets tab, the canvas, the view tab, the data panel, and finally the bindings panel down below. The three buttons on the top right allow you to show or hide certain panels. The project panel, the bindings panel, and the data panel. To get started, we'll import a CAD model. Drag and drop a model widget onto your 3D canvas. In the Properties tab, click on the plus button next to Resources. Clicking on Select File will bring up a file browser where you can add your 3D model. Check Run CAD Optimizer to generate optimized versions of your CAD for AR. This will take a bit of time but can improve performance. This is especially useful for large and complicated models. You can also allow your experience to access CAD metadata if you need it. Unless you have sensitive or confidential information in your CAD, leaving this on can be useful if you intend to use it later. Once you've imported your CAD model, you should see it on the 3D canvas. If you want to switch to using the optimized CAD at any time, use the drop-down menu to select which quality you want. You will use the 3D canvas to author the spatial elements of your AR experience. You can left-click and drag to move around the canvas. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Right-click and drag will rotate your canvas. To fit your view to the content, just double-click in an empty area. To move or rotate your model, click on it in the canvas, and you can use the handles. You can move them in a single axis or on a plane. You can toggle what kind of handles are available with the two buttons at the top. If you would like more precise control, you can use the input boxes in the detail pane to specify numbers for coordinates, rotation, and scale. A crucial component of AR is having a way to track augmentations relative to the real world. This is an anchor of sorts which pins down the location of your AR experience. In Vuforia Studio, there are many types to choose from, and we have videos outlining how to use each one. In this case, we will use a spatial target as it's the simplest one to set up. Simply drag and drop a spatial target onto the canvas, somewhere near your model. To switch to the 2D canvas, click on the button near the top. The workspace will show an outline of a mobile device. This will show how the interface looks on the device. You can change the device preview with the drop-down at the top, as well as rotate between portrait and landscape mode. Notice that the selection of widgets have changed as well. These are widgets which go onto the 2D canvas. Drag and drop a button onto the canvas. You can bind buttons to objects in the 3D canvas to trigger events. To learn more about bindings, check out our video on the topic. We won't need one today, so we can press undo, located near the top. Instead, we will simply drag and drop a label to act as a title. To learn more about using the 2D canvas, check out our other video on this subject. Once you are happy with your experience, save your experience and switch to preview mode to check how it looks. 
this will open a new tab. You can use the same controls to move around in preview mode. Once you are happy, return to the design tab. You can create multiple views to house different content within the same experience. Click on the plus button to create a new view. Here we will create another version of our first experience but with some slight changes. You'll find that previously uploaded assets can still be found in the drop downs. Click on Experiences in the Configurations tab. Here we can set the title of our experience as well as any association with thing marks. Since we aren't using a thing mark yet, we'll select none for thing mark association. To learn more about using thing marks, check out our video covering this subject. You can select the initial view you want to use as well as enter a description. You can also create multiple experiences from the same project here if required. In the Info Editor, you can change settings for this project. You can enter a description and set the experience service URL. The QR code provided here can also be scanned by Vuforia View and will set the experience library specified by your URL. You can also control the access level of the experiences from this project. If set to require authentication, you will have to sign in on Vuforia View to be allowed to open the experience. Public will allow any device to access this given the experience has been shared with it. There is also a checkbox for allowing downloading of these experiences in the Vuforia View app. This allows Vuforia View to see the experience without an internet connection, but you may wish to keep this off if you have sensitive CAD models. Minimum screen width will determine what kind of devices will be able to view the experience. Select phone or tablet based on which kind of device you have designed the experience for. The view navigation menu allows users to switch between different views in the project. You can also upload a thumbnail to use for this project. This will appear in your project's homepage as well as the experience library in Vuforia View. You are now ready to publish your experience. Click on publish at the top. If prompted, enter your authentication details for your experience server. Once published, there are many ways to share your experience. One of the quickest, if you simply want to test an experience, is with the QR code. Click on Share near the top. This will bring up a QR code with an option to download it. Scan this with the View for Review app to load the experience. Otherwise, you can navigate to the URL on your device. If you have enabled downloading for your experience, then you can do this by tapping on the three dots in the top right, then selecting Download Experience. Now you can access the experience from the Downloaded tab. You have now authored an AR experience from start to finish. To learn more about advanced techniques to customize your AR content, check out some of our other videos on Vuforia Studio.